Hello everybody, welcome to another adventure on Flight Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today, as you may or may not recognize, we are in the Azores. Uh, this this is a, an archipelago in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. I can't zoom out any more than this, but they uh, are part of Portugal. Portugal is this way, the US is that way, and this is kind of in the middle. Um, kind of like the Canary Islands for Portugal and we are in the island of São Miguel which is the capital island and you have here we're at the international airport and the plan today is to go over to the Lagoa das Sete Cidades which is this crater here it used to be a volcano there's a big steep wall over here oh, look at this guy going past all forklift uh, there's a big steep wall over here that we want to get there, turn our engine off, turn the wind up, and hopefully we can soar it on the old uh, Icon A5. So, should be good fun. And let's get in the way. There we go. Uh, the main runway is that way. But I'm gonna go this way because we're only small. Actually, I could even could even take off from this taxiway because this is actually the way we're going. We want to go somewhere over there. Little pitch of flaps and rotate. There we go. We're up. That's where we've come from. If you ever if you ever go to the International Paragliding Festival, this is where you will land. Really nice place, really nice people that organize the festival. So if you get a chance to go, I will highly, highly recommend it. I, I've been twice and everyone's just lovely. And you get to fly all over the island. Okay, let's get uh, let's get down here. Make it a little bit more interesting. It rains a lot here, so they have really nice cows. Very happy cows that just roam these pastures and give us amazing milk. For amazing cheeses and meat. I always say that the Azores is kind of like a... Portugal is pretty nice, I, I like it a lot obviously, but the Azores is like a even more distilled version of Portugal. The people are even nicer, the food is even tastier, the landscape is even prettier, so definitely visit if you get the chance
Getting a bit steep here, we need a bit more power. Cool thing as well is there's the sea on that side and there's the sea on that side. <laughs> on a on a good day you can fly the entire length of the island. If if there's thermals, of course. Well the car is going fast. Definitely a Microsoft flight simulator, not Microsoft traffic simulator. The cars are atrocious. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park with houses. Right, this is our wall pretty much. Uh, I might change the direction a bit and uh, because I in the past I've put southwest wind, but I think a little bit more west and a little bit less south might be uh, might be good for us. So just getting a bit of height to give us uh, an easier time. Gonna throttle back and kill the engine. There we go. It's a familiar sound. And now we want go on the wind, go a little bit more west. Let's crank it up to a fair amount of knots. Let's go 50 or thereabouts. So now the the thing to keep keep an eye on is the airspeed the dial on the corner left to make sure we don't go too slow because it's quite easy to stall it because we're trying to go slow and stay in the lift and the other thing we don't have an audio vario but we have a normal vario so we have vertical speed here that we can look if we're going up or down oh there you go that's a bit of a gust pushing us up and if I'm not mistaken yeah, the little beep is the angle of attack alarm, so I'm just going to go in and turn that off. Actually, you can turn all of the battery stuff off, so now it doesn't beep anymore. So let's see if this is working. Overspeed a little bit here.
So if it wasn't for the wind now we'd be in trouble here. But hopefully we're going up. The propeller is spinning just because of the airspeed, by the way. It's actually off off. In fact this is the this is the throttle going up and down and nothing happens. Oh, got a big good bit of lift there. Oh, this corner here is really nice. Might put a little touch of flaps in. It's really cool as well how it puts uh, white caps on the water as well with uh, when you increase the increase the wind. Actually, going to take flaps off. See if I can glide past this set of trees. Otherwise, I might be in trouble here. Okay, I think we're through. I'm going to get a bit closer here. Now is where this should be working, really. And it is. We're getting higher and higher and not losing much airspeed, so it's pretty nice. Look at the white caps down there. So we just gone past 2300, so I keep an eye on that just to see if we're going to get much higher to have something to compare against. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting higher. 2.5. One good um, challenge, I think, would be to try to, to try to go around it. So try and go around the front, because at the front here, there's another wall. So this, we're we're getting lift all on this area here. And then if we could just cross over to the front of the crater, kind of over there, we could potentially sort that wall as well. But on a sailplane, is definitely doable. On this, mm, I doubt it. We'd have to cheat and change the wind probably along the way. And no one, no one wants to cheat. Oh, there you go, split second. <laughs> Does the sim have thermals? I don't think so. Um, so I'm gonna say no, but I haven't, I haven't uh, looked much into it. 3,300, wow, we're getting really high. Maybe this is the opportunity we need to try to make some headway upwind. Wind is from the west today, so we're almost fully into wind now. Yeah, it it is a bit of a of a bumpy ride because I have it cranked up to what 50 knots, I think, <laughs> of wind speed, just so that we can stay up. But I'm not sure could get a little bit of something here. Oh, here we go. Well, I might be able to glide in front or even come back to there, but these things have such a wide turning radius that it's kind of hard to get the lift. Yeah, I think 
think OBS is struggling to record and stream at the same time so I'm gonna turn recording off and hopefully that that will help no it, I've been getting like uh, warnings about it and I can see on the preview that it's a bit or it was a bit struggly so hopefully that will have been fixed Ah, oh, well look at this, we did manage to cross over. Does that mean that we can get some lift off of here? If we can get some lift here then I think we've done the potentially the hardest part of the circumnavigation of the crater. We're still going into a headwind. This bit here should work. There we go, there's something there. I could try to go back to it, let's see. Uh, 2150? It's just that there's so much sink all the way around it. It's I don't even want to try to turn around. I'm just going to try to keep gliding and getting what I can. Hopefully over the over the brow here will that wall there will give me something but oof. it's a squeaky bum time I'm gonna have the rule that if I end up having to land somehow I'm gonna try to sneak ar around here instead of smacking into that hill if I have to if I have to land I'll try to land like normal in a safe way and then maybe turn the engine off once well, turn the engine on once I'm on the ground maybe and and go back or not but I won't I'm not gonna turn it just in the middle of the air just to escape from a bad situation because that's not you don't really get that option in a in a sailplane but hopefully I mean should be getting something here. It's very shallow. Something there. Five up. Definitely not getting masses of lift like I had before. Oh, things get even more tricky. Can I get something off this wall in front here? Maybe. Going up slightly. One thing I have to remember is if I get some good lift to immediately put the flaps on. Kind of like, no, not like that, but gets a bit better than that. Oh, I've turned the power off so I don't have flaps because they're electric. <laughs> Damn. I think I'm going down. This looks way too shallow to to work. But I can kinda see the wall where I came from. Right there on the on the left. God damn it if I could just what about this what about this wall here on the on the right? It's kind of on the lee side but it could work, right? Oh no. Oh no. Ah, this is not going to work. I needed to cross over to that. Terrain. Terrain. Oh no. 
how am I even going to land this thing? <laughs> this was supposed to be relaxing. Oh wait, there's a wall here. What about that wall over there? That might be kind of into wind. Kind of shallow though. But the gust is what makes it really hard to I think this is going to be a, a landeroo. I think it's not going to be possible this time. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a big wall here, kind of in front. Let me just go in. Turn the power on. Use it for flapping. Sorry about the angle of attack alarm thing. We got a trip to the seaside. Yeah, I'm pretty much bang into wind here. Don't see any anything that looks like it's dead on the wind. <sighs> well, let's uh, let's do our safe landing. Hopefully. And how, okay, so I need to be into west. Let's drop the landing gear. Let's drop one click of flaps. Could go on the road, couldn't we? Or one of these fields over here. I'm gonna point it into wind the last minute. Ah, uh, tree. Okay, I'm going to call that safe. That wasn't too bad. Ah, uh, but we did... What do we do? That was almost the whole thing, first try. We only needed to get back to there. We started over here. Oh, I suppose we needed still to do this bit. So, what, what, wind is west, so this direction. Started here, went over here. Oh, wait. Jesus. The thing is running away. <laughs> Started here, went to here. Here was really good. Crossed over here. Did this bit really struggling and then ended up down there. So maybe what we could do is go back to there, get plenty of height, and try to do it anti clockwise. See how that works. Oh, it's so windy the trees are moving at the base. Right. Excuse the lack of uh, simulator realism. Let go! Should take off fairly easily. A bit of headwind.
Hmm. Maybe with more wind. More wind, more lift. But it makes it really hard to go upwind. Which is the tricky bit. Actually, you can use this to scout this little area here. See if there's any little bits here that work. No, not really. Whoa, big gust. They model lift on terrain. Maybe they also model downdrafts on the lee side. Right, let's see if we can glide from here. Oh yeah, definitely getting something already. Oh yes. stall thing is so annoying. I'd rather not have flaps than having to hear it. <laughs> Question is, will it top land? It won't top land without the battery on because you can't get the gear down. See if we can stick ourselves on the lee side here. Oh, abort that. Whoops. a bit more of a setup. Okay, so this here might be close to where the paragliding takeoff is. This little patch here. I think. So we can try that. That's Annecy in France. That's next to a lake. I suppose this is a lake as well, but that's like a volcano lake in the middle of the Atlantic. These are uh, islands. So sorry about the noise. Doesn't like having the nose up. Right, let's do a proper one now. Let's put a little bit of flaps. Hopefully we have enough height for it. And okay, so I have too much height, so we go on this side. A 
hopefully it doesn't get too turbulent around here and go through this gap here slow down a bit more come on come around I should sit in here can adjust it with the flaps and with a bit of stall and go around wow this is stressful you know what I might do, I might put this on medium flaps gear down and then turn the power off There you go, that's better. Keep clipping trees. <laughs> I'd say we got it. We got away with that one. Flaps should still work without electricity, right? I'm gonna go in the far end as actually in instead. Can go a little bit deeper. Go on this little mound here between the trees. Oh yes. Here we go. Might even be able to take off just with a <laughs> with a run up. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Never mind the trees, don't worry, they don't exist. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to efficiency mode. Yeah, I still I still want it though, so I don't want to turn it off all the time. It's like these, um, you know, the heads-up display, all of this information here. Sometimes you want it off just for a nice picture, and sometimes, like now, having the airspeed in the case is actually quite important. But as uh, as far as I know, the only way to turn it off, you can't assign a key to it. You have to go here and go display off. And then, and then it doesn't show, and it's a really nice picture that you know, it's nice to look at. But and if you're flying with power, it's absolutely fine. If you're flying without power and you need the airspeed indicator, then it's a bit of a. Be nice if it was on a, a simple key that you could just press.
Um, does the wind, does the sim have wind shear? I think so. Because um, when you go to weather, you can, these are different levels of cloud. You can add different levels of wind and each level has strength and direction and gust and stuff. So it must, yeah, shear it somehow. If you go from uh, one direction to a, another piece of layer of wind with another direction. I thought I was going to make it there, but looks like as soon as you come off the lift, you sink like a stone.
Whew. Takes quite a bit of concentration, this. What about... I don't think we can do much more here. I could try to go again on this side, but I'll be honest with you. I think it's just too shallow on the other side. If we go back to nice and calm, not so buffety. All of a sudden it's a different world. This is a seaplane as well, so it should be able to do a nice landing on the water. It just amazes me every time the scenery is just gorgeous. This here on the right, if I'm not mistaken, is the actual landing field for when you fly paragliders. Shadow is going to help us here. There we go. You usually would say safely on the ground, but safely on the water. It'd be pretty cool if this had gliders. It'll be, it will be really cool when it does have gliders. We can go on our airboat. Yeah. I'll just turn the little thingies back on. Hey Jenna, good. Yeah, I've I got tired of soaring. You get stuck to the same hill a lot of the time, don't you? It um I almost managed to make it all the way around the crater. Like three quarters of it. 
I did see one for, I think it was the first test that we did, but they never did it. I think it was that one, yeah. yeah. Then I managed to get really high again uh, and going the other way, but I was a little bit back because we didn't work. I think that side is the, the hard side, so look at some bridges oh, here. Hard. Hmm. Can you try it? I'll try another water. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's hard. I might try. It's actually a seaplane. Are so you actually in... Uh, is it Sexy Dutch? Yeah, it's Sexy Dutch. Uh, it's nice, can I try? It's no, no. Nice to see it though. It's, when we it's actually easy. I never got this far. What do you mean? I never got to play it. Oh yeah, because when we went when we went there, it wasn't the weather wasn't right. No, I find the death is great. It really is this green when you're there, isn't it? Yeah. Is this the, um, I think it's, you've, got, you've chosen the weather? Yeah, I just took all the wind off now, yeah. but yeah, I had wind before. See this, um, not where we are now, but that, that wall in front there, mm -hmm. this is where we, actually top landed where we take off, I think, like around there. Oh, what, top, top landed on this game as you play? Yeah, and then, yeah, you can, you can take off, I think there's a take off there and there's a take off there. And this field here is where you land. Is that where the uh, Bifanas are? Yeah, Bifanas is here. Or there. These trees are not really there. These down here then. Maybe there's some here, but where you land there's no trees, so that's really, really nice. Oh. Nice, isn't it? Okay.
Oh wow, I was thinking of doing uh, half an hour. Just looked at the clock, it's already been an hour. Okay, has floats.
Whew. So well, that was the soaring adventure for today. I feel a bit tired. This is uh, soaring is way harder than just flying with the engine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was nice. Managed to fly along the wall on the way back, as you can see. But uh, can't wait for them to make thermals and sailplanes available and custom weathers custom weather multiplayer that will be what what was that that would be really cool well thanks a lot for tuning in and i will see you